so I'm gonna put together a little video that is going to basically go over the accessories that I have on my TLX Type S. I've had a lot of feedback asking me what accessories I have on there and if I like. Obviously, I'm probably biased because I have the accessories already on my car. But at least one thing I can do is I can kind of speak to what I have, um, the quality of it, how it's held up over the last eight months of use. Um, I have just about 10,000 miles in the car right now, and I think I've used it a fair amount for the time that I've had it. Granted, it's mostly been on road trips, but yeah, we can go over what I've put on here and uh, maybe a spare tire update since I did finally get the battery cover, and I can show you guys how that fits. Um, and if, you know, you guys can see if you want to end up getting some of the stuff yourself. So let's check it out. All right, the first thing I'm gonna go over right now are the accessory black lug nuts. Taking a look at these things, they're a lot of money. And initially when I got them, I wasn't so sure that it was worth it. But you know, they're pretty snazzy. Um, they are definitely glossy. They have a very flat face to them. They sit really flush, which is nice. Um, They've held up really well. I've taken the wheels off and on to rotate them a couple of times and they have no marring. There's no, they, they do fingerprint a little bit as you can see here, but there's no marring on them. Um, the coating is really nice and they look good. I mean, you can tell from a distance when you're driving that they're on there because of how they, they reflect. So definitely a nice upgrade. Um, I know a lot of you that didn't get the high performance package are also getting the high performance wheels to go on your standard TLX Type S. I love these things. I ended up buying them to put on my NSX. So I obviously am a fan. Um, they're super easy to clean. They're a little bit lighter over the stock Type S wheels, which is nice. Um, but they, they do stay clean pretty darn well. So I think these are a great upgrade too. Now moving on to the side spoiler here. So this is one that was a little spendy to get. As you can see here, how it attaches on the side. But, uh, you know, taking a look at it, it's certainly a little bit dirty, but it has no marring on it. Um, no road grime. It's held up really well as well have about 10,000 miles on them, so they've certainly had some use. Here's another shot. A little dirty behind there, but you know, obviously the fit is OEM, so everything is nice and tight and clean. I will say that it does look incomplete without getting the rear spoiler to go on it. Um, you know, these little things, I had to wait for quite a while, so they don't have hardly any miles on them. But they definitely make the look. Without them in the sides, it looked pretty incomplete. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The flow is really good, obviously, with how it's designed. Um, and then with the quad exhaust on the back, it just looks really aggressive. Which, probably brings us on to the uh, more spendy pieces of the accessories, right? The carbon fiber. So this package was touted quite a bit by Acura. Now, these carbon pieces are all made at PMC with all the NSX carbon fiber. So that's one thing that isn't really publicized. But this is essentially an overlay on the existing diffuser, so it's not a replacement piece. But it has had no issues at all. It looks phenomenal. The deck lid. Does it tie into the rest of the black? Is a question that I get asked a lot. Well, the carbon's pretty dark as it is, so to me, I'm gonna say yes. You know, taking a look at it from the top, it's glossy and reflective, just like the black. I think that the contrast is really good between the two. No, it's not black. It definitely has a different sheen to it. But 
as you can see, I mean, it fits and flows really well with the whole package. And to me, I mean, the back looks much more aggressive to me than the front, just with the pieces that are added onto it. I do not have the chrome black emblems because I think it looks good without them, honestly. I just don't need to add to it. But we can uh, hop onto the trunk next. This is probably my favorite accessory, I'll be honest. It has a little Acura leather stitched handle here that you can pull back and enter, put in whatever you want inside here, right? But taking a look and once you get it installed, I mean, you can put groceries, anything right here and it won't fly back. You can put larger luggage in the back here and not have to worry about it. The small things you can stick in here, like, you know, a glass cleaner or a jump starter kit, um, rags, whatever the case may be. And it, uh, the bottom of this is flat and leather. So nothing will move and it, and it sits really low, right? So that's a nice addition. Um, Obviously, I have my spare tire in here right now, so that's why it's raised up. But even so, I mean, it still attaches just fine. I've had no issues with how it connects and attaches while the spare tire is sitting, or the spare wheel is sitting in here. The trunk tray, hmm. To me, this is probably the piece that I wouldn't buy again. It's pretty flimsy. And if you remember in my last video, I only en ended up picking this up because I wanted it to kind of cover the spare wheel when it's in the back. So that's the only reason that I have it. It's relatively inexpensive. Um, I'll put the MSRPs and price numbers in the description below. As we all know, prices right now are astronomical for parts, for cars, finding stuff, having it in stock, yada, yada, yada. So anything I put in the description is gonna change probably by next week. But nonetheless, I'll put the part numbers down there. You guys can look them up and see what they're currently going for. Okay, here's the battery cover. As you can see, this thing already is popping out. Does it fit? Well, as it's made for the spare wheel and spare tire, it's a pretty snug fit. And honestly, it's squished to say the least. With that said, it does definitely protect the battery terminals. So I'll take the wheel off here and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So technically this thing is supposed to push in here and lock. Um, you can put the spare tire and spare wheel here and obviously it clamps down. This covers the battery. Taking this thing off, you can see there's a hole right here where this is supposed to push through. It doesn't especially with the spare uh, regular size wheel on top. But it does protect, protect the ground terminal. Obviously the positive is pretty protected as is. This thing is really tight. Um, so it's not going anywhere. Do you need this thing? Probably not. Is it nice to have? Nah, it doesn't hurt. So I'm probably gonna keep, keep it on here just because it is peace of mind to have a giant wheel back here. But other than that, you know, it's up to you if you think it's worth it or not. This was about 40 bucks, I think, when I got it. It might be less, but I'll, like I said, I'll put the, the part number and the pricing in the description below. Moving on to the inside. Carpet and floor mats, boy. You know, these are definitely plush. I know it looks really dirty on the camera. It's not that dirty. It's just how the camera's picking it up. But um, yeah, they're worth it. You know, it's, it's nice to have something with a little more thickness than the OEM pieces. Um, the Type S emblem is really high quality. Obviously it's riveted here on the back with metal, which is good. Um, hasn't worn through at all. I have a slight heel print, but actually, yeah, that's slight there. Um, yeah, they're great. Um, I did get the carbon fiber accessory plastic trim pieces. 
these things make the car to me. I mean, this looks really good. And if any of you remember the uh, original TL Type S, it had these carbon fiber overlays and they definitely were not real. Um, these are real. So yes, it's an overlay, uh, but it actually is carbon fiber beneath the resin. So that's nice to see. Um, taking a look here, I have my dog in here quite often. So I have a non OEM accessory uh, dog seat cover, but it's really thick. <laughs> It's there. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, those are the accessories that I have on here. Um, probably the one thing that I would purchase over and over again, no matter the cost, is the heated steering wheel. So, <laughs> the heated steering wheel is an expensive accessory and Probably something the car is going to have at the MMC. Probably something it should have had to start with. But nonetheless, um, it is an accessory right now. Obviously, it's the same sports steering wheel that's in the A-Spec. So nothing is really unique about it. But having a heated steering wheel with this car, to me, is just one of the finishing touches. Along with, you know, maybe surround view camera at some point. But, but right now, for the US version, this is an accessory. It's standard in Canada and Mexico. Hopefully in the future, it'll be standard in the US as well. But yeah, if you can swing this one, definitely get it. Okay, so those are the OEM accessories that I have on my TLX Type S. You know, MSRP wise, easily four grand I put into the car, um, but I did make it my own, right? So this is my car. The heated steering wheel, the carbon fiber inside, definitely well worth it. The carbon fiber inside is pretty easy to put on. I will say that I didn't put any of this stuff in. Uh, my dealer hooked it up. I paid 300 bucks. They installed everything from the heated steering wheel to the interior carbon pieces, the spoilers outside the car, the carbon fiber um, diffuser, everything. So I got lucky there. I didn't have to go through that hassle, but you know, that's one of the benefits of being a loyal customer, right? Like you build up such a rapport with your dealer that over time, in many vehicles purchased, um, you know, you can work out situations where it's included in the cost of the car. And that's what I did. One nice thing I'll say too, is when you purchase all these things, when you buy the car, you can roll it into the car loan. All the accessories now are fully covered under the four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. So, um, I don't think I'm going to get any other accessories for the car OEM wise. I thought about the illuminated door sills, but they're a lot of work, they're really expensive, and they're just kind of a bling factor thing, which, true, the carbon fiber probably is too, but I look at that a lot more often, and the doors are not open that often. So, yeah, at this point, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next video.